Hey guys, looks like I'm on a set here. Jeremy, the one wild crafter, and I am fishing on Lake Nipissing. Um, so it's windy out here today. It was three degrees yesterday. We came out in the dark, basically, inch of water on top of the ice, and uh, set up. Caught a couple of uh, undersized walleye that we let go, and a herring that we kept. And today we're out in the day, um, and we're trying for perch, pretty much. This is a perchy kind of a spot off uh, Sunset Point, Lake Nipissing, North Bay. And I'm just going to switch it up here. I'm putting on this uh, Swedish pimple style contraption with a minnow head. And uh, see if we can get a little bit of flashiness going on over there. Bring in some perch. And uh, give you a little look around the setup here. Oh, how's look, my hair? Looking good. You're ready for the camera. <laughs> so uh, under all that fur and sunglasses and beard, it's uh, fun fur. Stevie fun fur. All the way up from Halliburton. Yeah, to, doing some perch uh, fishing, doing some uh, walleye fishing, some burbot fishing, some lake herring fishing. We got yeah. all, all of those except most of those last night. Yeah, <laughs> we went walleye and one herring. Yeah. And we're out looking for perch right now, and uh, just getting jiggy with it. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to catch some burbot. Oh man, we got to get out in the dark, man. Like yeah. we tried, we were out in the dark last night. We just weren't maybe deep enough or whatever. We just didn't have any cruising around. But I'd like to get some of that poor man's lobster. Yep. Like a seafood pasta or something nice. Yeah. So that might be what's coming up. We'll see what what the springs like. Nipissing's fun for this because you catch something. You maybe have an idea about what it is based on the weight or, but like, yeah, anything could come through the hole. Right? That's what I was saying to you last night. I love this lake for that reason. It's like you get something on and you might have an idea, yeah, based on the weight or how it's fighting or whatever, but you yeah. don't really know what's coming no. out of the hole. All you know is it's not a trout. Yeah, you know it's not a it trout because there's be, no trout in here. It could be anything else. It could be a pike. It could yeah. be a mud puppy. Yep. It could be a burbot. It could be a walleye. Yep. It could be a herring. It could be a whitefish. It yep. could even be a salmon once in a while <laughs> well, happening in this lake in yeah. the summer. But. Yeah. <laughs> or the spring what else whatever perch could, could be, be a perch bullhead catfish there's bullheads in here too yeah 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 Lots i've never caught a mud puppy either so i'm looking forward to yeah. it. <laughs> like mud puppy man that'd be cool to just see it we'll do some night fishing and uh see if we catch one yeah man it's a little bit crowded out here we got somebody set up exactly beside us we should go see who's in there to us and uh, Adam and Wilson each caught a fish perch I believe they didn't specify but I'm thinking that's what it was we're and still sitting uh, here skunks. we're still dummies. yeah sitting here skunk like dummies no like, <laughs> just like smart relaxed guys yeah, our, time, our, yeah our turn's coming hey that one? no huge one man <laughs> huge one <laughs> <laughs> Time to go check the tip ups. Yeah. <laughs> I'm running in. I think Jeremy's gone. <laughs> All right, there's on. First one of the day and a big chunky monkey. Look at that there's thing. See who's got the biggest one. Beautiful on the tip up. I gotta go check my tip up. We're still pretty far behind though. I know, it's five to one. Yeah. Oh, there goes my tip up. Here, hold this. I think it's, I think he's pulling your leg. Yes. It's big. See, this is the spot where we gotta be, right here. We just got it figured out, I think, on this tip up. Okay, look out, buddy. Look out. 
buddy. It's not a perch. No. Something big. Yeah. Nice. Got really rad with it too. Yeah, probably right. I think it might be a pike the way it's head shaking. Yeah. Yeah, you broke just, your leader. Just, just broke off there, yeah, on the edge of the hole. That's a heartbreaker. Should have maybe tried to tire her out. And also a fish. Yeah, that's the that's a good strategy Next on time. the biggest. Next time. Next time. Well, you gotta, now I gotta tie a hook in the goal. <laughs> yeah, you gotta retie coming. I'm gonna yeah. check mine. Okay. Do you want the same reason? Here. Yeah, I'll go put it back in there. Yeah, I looked out the window and your rod tip was going right to the water. Yeah. A slow day. Got uh, <coughs> it's cold out there, man. how many fish did you guys catch? Five, six, but six perch, but one is small. In anyways, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> he lost oh, one. What? What's going on? Harry? What? Hey, good. Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't throw it away. Steve likes those. That's a nice size one. Oh, I've never caught one either. So oh, that's yeah? cool. That's a big one. Yeah, nice. That's a big one. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. These tips up, tip ups are bad. They're not. They're uh, not triggering it. Nope. Yeah, so you got to. I caught one on that one before. So manually. Yeah, and we time. didn't even see it. Like. Zero, step on the line, that's a big one. Yeah. yeah. Maybe things are picking up a little bit. We just got uh, a couple of big bites here back to back. It's getting close to dark. It's like 4.30. Sunset's at 4.50. So we'll try for a little bit longer. And uh, hopefully fill a bag with fish. Here comes Mr. Cold Hands. That's hard, eh? <laughs> you got any fish on the finder? No, no we don't. No but fish on the finder. I had one on my tip up and I missed it. Oh, it was a good one. Better one even. That's good light there. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. It's getting getting pretty dark, um, so probably wrap it up here soon. We're gonna stay out for a little bit longer. We I just caught and released two walleye. And, yeah, it's uh, all non keepers, man. It's hard yeah. on the guy. And Wilson just caught one 16 inches here in the hut next to us, so he's got the biggest one so far, and it had to go back down the hole. But um, anything could happen in the last few minutes. But it's getting pretty dark to be filming, so might shut her down here soon. But there should be some more catching and then maybe some cooking at the end of this video. Cooking, cooking. <laughs> oh yeah. These are, we're beating McDonald's. The whole point here. The Albert Einstein look is really working for me, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, McDonald's does a quarter pounder. We're doing third pounders. Third pounders. I got some foggy camera here. So oh, it's still foggy. So third pounders are better than quarter pounders. Even though the number is smaller, it actually means more for those of you keeping score at home. Yeah. <laughs> why, why are we doing three? Yeah. Dill, do you see her? Yeah. Homemade garlic dills. Yeah, literally hit a little pickle. Going in there. She's cut slicing some pickles. We got the homemade garlic dills. We got some pickled um, ramp scapes. Mm. We got hot ramps, crazy hot ramps with homegrown hot peppers and wild ramps. And uh, then we're doing all the fixes, ketchup, mustard, like old school, street meat, ballpark style. And they're gonna be awesome. Yeah. With extra pickles. Exciting, all very exciting. You got a bread knife? Oh, 
You guys like your buns? Sorry about the foggy camera, guys. <laughs> Don't answer that. Can you one of those things? Toasted yeah. buns, eh? Well, she's just made it all dirty now. Oh. You know, it started out with the pickle thing and yeah, the long yeah. and girthy and all that. And next thing you know, it's all gotten out of hand a little. I don't know if I can put this on YouTube. So I don't know if I'm toasting these buns or not. <laughs> <laughs> If you can't put oh, it on man. YouTube, where can you put it? I don't know. <laughs> on somewhere else that I won't mention, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Three burgers, three humans. Where does that leave you? Junie gets oh. a little bit. She can have some mine. She's oh, awesome. yeah. Hey, Steve's going to share. I'm going to share with you. So, uh, so this are you... is ground venison, no binder. No binder? And this is amazing bacon salt. Bacon, like, they, yeah, I don't know yeah, if they yeah. just rubbed it on a hog or what, but it's it's salt that smells like bacon that uh, Jer's son yep. bought for him. So we're trying a bit of that on these uh, unbound venison burgers. They risk falling apart, but I think they taste better without egg in them. Mm, yes. A little salt, a little bacon salt, a little black pepper. Guess who's your uncle? Uncle Bob. Bobby D, that's who. Right. Yeah. Bob Robertson. Bob Rob. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Me too. The suspense is killing me. It's killing me. <laughs> Crawling, there it is. Oh, you know, looking for the crawl, eh? Yeah, see? See the fat crawl, guys? And it's on! Slow gentle press on there. Right, let's get a shape happening. Let's get a let's exceed the bun. That's what I'm saying to you. Right, we're establishing shape right now, this turkey. More oil than I need, by the way. It's more raccoon fat than was necessary, but it'll still be fine. Because I forgot there was actually, there's 10% organic yeast fat in here. Oh, so okay. it's, we got a fat blend happening here. Look at that. Oh. Now, you oh, might man. crack up a little, because there's no binder, as we told you. But they're starting to look exactly how they're supposed to look, man. Oh, oh, oh. Pull it out of the fire, Jer. Pull it out of the fire. Can you use the off Yeah, this guy here looks a little... Yeah, I, I can come right in. Pop up there. We're talking about delicious organic peppers. Hi. Right. What was it? Surprise, ketchup, mustard, all the fixes. Is it with your Sure, you want to dump them in and I'll toss them? Okay, these are done. Okay. Oh, they look pretty good to me. Good? Yeah, pretty good here. Any strip check. Okay. Oh. Almost got off there. Oh my yeah. god. This monster. Oh, I broke it. That's okay, oh, no. I'll, I'll take that one. It's so hot. <laughs> okay, those are those are right where we want them to be. Look, you can see it's a little nice and pink inside. Crispy on the outside. Oh yeah. Look inside there. Mm -hmm. on. Okay, those are going over here, and it's every man for himself. And even little Judy gets a piece. She's the best girl. Oh, that's a shot glass. Oh, I didn't finish my shot. Did I? Oh. That stuff is good. It's pretty yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll set up here. Oh, Fries tossed. Yes. Yep. Good to go. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so well, why don't we? You got something for that? Okay, tell me when you're. Yep. Okay, well, there. Beautiful. Okay, we're rocking. A little few extra.
questions there for somebody later? It's a race to the finish, guys. Okay, I'll, uh, should I take the broken one? Whatever. Easy. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'm happy to take the broken one. I love the broken one. It's my favorite one. Thank you. Huh? Mm-hmm. I'll do layers. Do layer shots. And the insta people. Okay, what are we talking about? We're talking about ramp scapes, man. Can I just put my fingers in there? Is that alright? Yeah, of course. Oh, maybe. Fine. Ramp scapes. I'm yeah, excited about those. Very exciting. Yeah, I've never seen ramscapes. You know, I just see the leaves and I know they're ready to pick, you know? Get a healthy little dose of those on there. It's really good. Oh, well, those fries are good, man. So it's homegrown, just run-of-the-mill rush, I'd say. Nothing special. So you're happy I messed up and did french fries instead of Yeah, that. they're good, <laughs> man. Maybe the odd little. I already got those ramps. I'm saying hot ramps. Hot ramps. A couple hot ramps on top. Ta da! Mm. Where did the malt vinegar disappear to? It's hiding oh. behind your booze. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Heat in there? Yeah, this is exciting. This is very exciting. This is pepper? Yep, black pepper. Okay, I got. Mm -hmm. I just got a shot of there. And then wait. My burger's looking kind of plain because I'm just holding the camera, so better get at her. Good. Ridiculous. So there you have it, another uh, fantastic meal with at one wild crafter, at Delvany Collier, at Stevie underscore fun fur. Following a cold, cold day on the lake. That was cold. Out a there. good hot meal. 60k wins. Yeah. This is making up for it though. I'm, we're planning to get it back out there tomorrow, so we'll see you on the lake.